Hi, this is Susan Smith with Stamp Creatively, and I have tips that will last between 2 and 10 minutes. I just did a fantastic video for you, and when I looked over to my laptop to see how much time I had taken, I realized it wasn't on. So I'm doing it again. So this is take two. I'm going to show you some watercoloring with the ornate garden. And I'm going to do just as good as I did on the last one. Okay, so let me tell you a little bit about what I'm doing. I am watercoloring with the um, Ornate Garden stamp set and our fabulous watercolor paper. I love our watercolor paper. It's 100% cotton um, and it does a great job. It's a little bit thinner than the old and has a little bit less texture. The Ornate Garden is a suite that you can currently get that's going to be available um, in the new annual catalog. This is like a preview. It's got some great words, some florals, two dyes. It's got some um, adorable little embellishments that I'm enjoying a lot. Some ribbons, a great impression folder. So I'm going to show you a little bit of watercoloring with it and kind of what I've been doing. So what I'm going to do is I am going to um, take a paper towel and put it down first. I um, stamped and embossed in um, with Versamark and I did it in black and in white. Um, and I did those um, beforehand and they're sitting right here. I told you the first video was fabulous. This one's going to have some glitches just because the first one was so good. Okay, so now I'm going to watercolor with um, some inks. I have some Rich Razzleberry, Granny Apple, Daffodil, and Mambo. And I have opened them and I'm going to pull the color out of the lid. And so I'm going to show you how I do that. I'm going to add a little bit of Rich Razzleberry because it looks like it needs a little bit of color. But I think that's the only one I need to add to. So I'm just going to put a little dot of refill right here. I'm going to show you how I watercolor. You can see over here kind of the ones I've done. I've done it several times. I'm going to start with the black. And again, the first one was perfect. This is all new. We're all doing new things and we got to give ourselves some grace. This one I can tell I didn't emboss this corner the way I was supposed to or the bottom. But you're going to see the technique and it's going to be fabulous. And then you're going to realize that we all got to give ourselves some grace. Okay, so I've watercolored this. I've got it super wet. You can see that it's super wet. And because I didn't emboss those, I'll show you how I will fix those and it'll be fine. I've been stamping for 23 years with Stampin' Up! and I can fix just about anything. So I've gone around my with my granny apple. I'm going to do the yellow second. I'm going to hit my pretty daisies. I'm going to hit the centers of some of these flowers and this is really wet so you can see how it bleeds but um, the embossing powder is going to hold that color in. So I've done that. Now I'm going to add my Razzleberry. Oh, that's dark. So if it goes on a little too dark, like that one may be a little darker than what I want. I'm going to turn it over and do this. Oh, it's going to be good. I'm going to make this one a little darker. Okay. And if I was doing this at my desk and I went, oh my gosh, I forgot to emboss that one corner. When I went to fussy cut this out, I would come down in here and just lose that leaf. So I wouldn't toss it or do anything like that. I might have embossed on the back, but because I got it so wet, it would take me a long time before I could emboss it again. So I would fussy cut this, but I would let it dry before I did this. I'm just showing you what I would do if this was on my desk and this was my mistake. And I wouldn't worry about it. Over here is one that I did in the first video, and you can see it's starting to dry how pretty those colors are. And now I've embossed in white. 
and my white is not pure white it's got some contraband in it um, because I had the white and the black next to each other to camp so I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to start with the green and just dot it and don't be judgy don't say you don't like the white until you see it all done because it's lovely it was my husband's favorite when I got them all done it's a beautiful day here okay so now I'm gonna do the yellow again up here where the daisies are I have this I turned it the other direction um, so you could see it and I keep forgetting where my flowers are here's the razzleberry I'm gonna put that down here for these and then I can see where those little mambo flowers are a little bit better Got these little mambo flowers. Isn't that pretty? Now, um, when it dries, I can go back and use my Stampin' Right markers and um, put in a little bit of the yellow centers, or I can add a rhinestone and add some embellishments. That's what I did um, on the other ones. Okay, as this dries, it's so pretty. And now let me show you some of the done ones. Okay, I'm gonna close these so I don't get ink on my completed projects. So let me show you what. So the first two I created, I did a little bit different. I did them with just black stays on. So here they are with just black stays on. And the black just wasn't dark enough for me. This is the ribbon that comes in the suite. And here's those pretty stones. And this is one of the um, folders. And it cuts out these little hearts. So I added a little bit of love up at the top. Here is my one in white. I mean, it dries so pretty. This was Mark's favorite. And again, this is one of the dies that comes um, in the suite. And these are those pretty um, faceted gems. Here's, I used one of the folders to cut this out. This is the poppy paper, and then I dyed some of our pretty polka dot ribbon. Then I took a sheet. Oh, and here's one um, in the white again that I did over the weekend for a class, and I flicked it with a little bit of, you know, where you take your and tap it on your finger, and so I added some speckles to it. And then I took a sheet, a, a sheet, and I did this image all over it embossed it in white and used the pigment sprinkles and so I came out with this and I used that folder then I had an extra strip and throw so I ran it through and made it floral and then this little word set comes from the January didn't catalog and that has those little dies that go with it so that's some of the watercoloring I've been doing with the ornate gardens I've got lots of other stuff to show you um, we're working on um, getting ready for the new catalog because we love a good annual catalog. And I'm not going to sweat that I messed this up and we had to do it again because, again, I did it. And we're giving ourselves a little bit of grace. We're all learning something new. We're giving ourselves a little bit of grace and we're going to get through this. And um, cameras are new to me. My friends who do this more consistently have told me I need to change my clothes. So I'll have to change my clothes if I'm going to do another video today. So, um, but I did put on earrings for you. I mean, we have to dress up where we can. So thanks for joining me. I'll see you again soon and have a great day.